Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to the weekly review special for week 30 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. This week I brought in 1,713 points. It's up a little bit from where we were a week ago, but we did have a new season begin on our second highest active score. So not bad to go up after having a score reset, but way short almost 3,000 points short of our best round score of 4,648, which was 22 weeks ago. It's been a while. Current virtual best does increase significantly up to 1,945, up from 1663 a week ago, but the all-time virtual best still unchanged as we have zero active games in the top 10 all-time scores. Break down the games individually, PCM 20 career mode, that's the one that reset. We had 307 at the end of the season a week ago. We just started the new season, and we already scored 75 points. So far, World Tour actually has gone well for us. I am overmatched in so many ways, but higher prestige races means more points available, and I'm still pulling some results. We actually got our first wins in more than one way. So we got a couple stage wins. Uh, we won a race overall. We won a second race overall off camera through quick sim with Tentoni. So really excellent start. In the all-rounder, 67 points, almost doubling my previous high score. We're approaching the end of our second season, so that's going to be resetting pretty soon, uh, probably next week. Valley Old Farm still on 9 points, still only 45000 repaid of $3 million that was borrowed for this uh, theoretical series, but huge influx of cash coming next week. We're going to be working on selling hundreds and hundreds of bales, hundreds of them. Uh, let's see, my guess is we had 24 loads of 24 bales in each load. So we've got about 600 plus bales. That's a lot. That's a lot. We have, uh, or is that right? Did I do my math right on that? Uh, maybe, yeah. I think so. It's a lot of bales. Whatever it is, it's a lot of bales, and there's a lot of money in it. About $650,000 worth. All right, next up, next up, what do we have? I retired out of the park baseball last week after our third season. Things were going well, but viewership was just damn really low, and I, I just don't have enough time to keep up with it. Uh, though I, I certainly would have been happy with another season on there. Uh, Founder's Fortune. 570 points continuing to go the right direction. This was a good week for that one. No attacks. Chance to build up a little bit. We got another piece of research done. We survived some additional seasons. We got another colonist back. And we're developing our colonists fairly well right now. NBA 2K20 came to the end of a season. We're going to do one more. We got to 239 points, so a huge jump. Made the playoffs in just our second year but not terribly competitive, so we'll see what can happen with our third. We got to the second round of the playoffs, which was a surprise, but we only won one game there. Can we repeat this season on merit? Are we going to be good enough to actually make the playoffs? We're a balanced team, but we just don't have any standouts right now. No big stars. And that's going to make it really hard in the next season to turn that into something more, something higher. In F1 2020, we have the My Team Principal. We rounded out our first season, 108 points. Went ridiculously well for our first season. We'll see what season two can bring. Last question mark, nearing the end of the first season, already 163 points there. It's going even better than My Team Principal in a lot of ways, but more points in the My Team Principal. But I'm consistently racing well. On that all-time virtual best side, of course, nothing in the top 10. But Founder's Fortune, drawing closer, moved up another spot from 13th up to 12th. So only two spots out of the list. We still have 73 points 
to go, though, to crack the list. So a little bit of a gap, a little ways to go. But if things go like they're going now, we might make it next week or certainly by the week after. Let's hope we don't get attacked anytime soon, though. Uh, career mode, it's going to take a little while till we surpass that 307, but we've had a really good start to the season, so we might get there in two or three weeks. And with Out of the Park, retired NBA 2K20 stepped up into its spot and nearly outscored it anyway. But we came to the end of a season, so it's going to be a while before we see that score change. It's 35th right now. It's going to do it for this review special. Thanks for tuning in. No new games coming until about middle of August, unless uh, I have a number of games on my wish list that have no release date that are all supposed to be coming soon, so you never know when one of them is suddenly going to come out, or a game that isn't on my radar suddenly comes out, so it could change, but at this point it's going to be middle of August till we see any other new series coming to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.